Hello everyone, welcome to Code Spot. This is Sabana and today we are going to see how Netflix actually works. As we all know, Netflix is an Amer American media service provider that provides its members thousands of TV series, movies, documentaries that you can watch on a lot of internet connected devices like mobile, television, tablets, laptops, etc. As of now, Netflix has about 150 million subscribers across the world and it is spread worldwide except few countries like Syria, North Korea due to its local restrictions. Just like Google has become the search engine, Netflix has become the app to watch TV series, movies, etc. Each month new TV series are added and there is always something new to explore. And thanks to Netflix, now unlimited viewing can be enjoyed without getting pissed off by the commercials. So, have you ever wondered how they are providing so much content with such a low price? Net because, because Netflix has to pay for every bit of the content that they stream. So, this is kind of interesting, but there are a lot of complexities that goes on in the back end. So, how Netflix actually works is a very complicated process, but I will make it as simple as possible in this video. Let's get started. So, in earlier days, people used to rent movies and unfortunately, they have to pay a lot in for the late returns. So, this is where Reed Hastings and Mark Rudolph saw an opening. They are the CEO of Netflix. Um, so, their init so, initial business of Netflix was DVD sales and rental by email. So basically people can rent movies by mail and they would be delivered to their home. And then this changed to a subscription model and then they converted into online streaming services. Back then, it, this was a huge hit because just by subscribing, you can watch any number of movies and soon customers started increasing and their business skyrocketed. So as the customers started increasing, to run all this, you will need a massive amount of servers, which Netflix has on their own. But soon they realized at their growing pace, it is tough to maintain that. It was very difficult because as the customers grow, they need to provide the quality and they need to maintain a lot of servers all around the world. So it was getting difficult. So they made a courageous decision. To, make, to get rid of their servers and move all their stuff to the cloud. So basically cloud is everything on the servers of someone else. So they would deal with the hardware maintenance and you can you do not have to deal with all that. That's someone they chose for their cloud-based infrastructure is the Amazon Web Services. As we all know, Amazon runs the Prime Video, which is kind of the rival for Netflix. So how can Netflix actually trust everything to an arch rival? But, but this partnership turned out to be a win-win situation for both the companies. Network, Netflix has become one of the AWS most advanced customers and Amazon in turn improved their systems to take on the massive loads into their server for Netflix. But there is still a problem. This technology and all this hard work would be rendered useless if the end user's internet connection is too poor to handle the video quality. So, they, so Netflix found a solution to this problem as well. So basically, this is how internet actually works for someone who doesn't know. When you do something that requires a net access, say you're trying to request a website the request is sent to your internet service provider your internet service provider is basically uh, the company that provides you the internet like sprint uh, at&t etc this isp server then forward the request to the dedicated server and it will bring the response back to your browser this is how basically everything happens so now back to the story so for Netflix or any other sites that maintain this millions of hours of video content that has to be relayed through internet, uh, through internet between servers and their clients, massive amounts of servers are required. 
so how they do and a lot of uh, and a lot of maintenance is required for their performance and they do this by building something called content delivery network so what uh, a cdn basically is that it basically takes the original website and its contents and copy it into multiple servers and it spreads all across the world so if i want to if i want to watch netflix from india i wouldn't have to go i um, i would uh, i wouldn't be connected to the main server in the united states but i would be connected to the server that is closest to my location so to make this ha happen um, instead of relying on AWS servers, Netflix strikes a deal with the internet service provider itself. So Netflix strikes a deal with the internet service provider and provide them with an open connect box at no cost. These open connect boxes download the entire library from the main server in the US. When you connect to Netflix, the content from the uh, nearest open connect box would be delivered to your device to your device therefore videos are much faster to load even if you have a very low uh, internet connection because now you the internet service provider does not have to connect to any servers they just have to get it from their uh, from their own local disk because now that they, they have installed this open box into their own servers all they all they have to do is just fetch it from their own servers and relay it across the internet. So it is much faster and cheaper that way for the client for, for the client. So you wouldn't have any buffer time and and the customers do not get irritated at all. In conclusion, when you play Netflix, it sends into motion a lot of complex systems and algorithms that run behind the hood and everything happens within the microseconds and uh, Whenever I watch Netflix or any anything on YouTube, I always uh, remember how hard the media servers work to avoid this lag time for us to give us the best services. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video learning about how Netflix works. I think this is, uh, I thought this is a fascinating thing and uh, people can learn how media servers work so hard behind the scenes to give us the service that we are watching right now so yeah thanks for watching